As Bruce last MSM. Yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good yeah. uh, bracket run. Two, I remember two nights ago. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff to YMCA. And if he's uh, playing Raza. That means he's getting pretty, you know, probably getting pretty deep in the bracket. Yeah. Maybe keeping the momentum rolling from Mega Smash Monday and becoming the Wednesday Night Fight hero. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, I mean, he's been rocking solo DK since Smash Four. So I mean, he, he loves the character. He's been mm -hmm. sticking with it. He has been playing other characters, you know. It, I, I feel like in this game, it's so hard just to play one character. Yeah. Um, there's there's so many other characters, and the game is pretty balanced to mm -hmm. the point where it's like you can play so many different characters, and it's really really nice. Yeah. So he's also been saying he's uh, liking Wario. Wario. So, yeah. I mean, pretty interesting. I mean, in yeah. terms of just like he is a heavy character. It's kind of similar to Donkey Kong, but other than that, it's like, like yeah, not the area really. mobil mobility versus like you know kind of that uh, yeah a standard uh, you know DK tilt out. Uh, grappling range, you know, the whole deal. We're doing some button checks. Uh, so if you're just joining us, stream, welcome to Wednesday Night Fights. We got YMCA versus Razo. Uh, we're getting a little further in the bracket. Uh, Javi, how deep are we in bracket? How deep are we in bracket right now? How far into bracket are we? What round? We are in the best round because it's uh, featuring YMCA and Razo. <laughs> this might be the round before quarters or yeah. quarters, I, if I had to assume. Something along those lines. I'll have to invent, uh, check the glory of the, uh, the internet real quick. Yeah, we got Razo to your right and YMC, YMCA to your left. And YMCA definitely hitting the gym, you know, eating his protein. Yeah, he looks, uh, when he came up, I was like, is he ready to fight? <laughs> Razo, like <laughs> IRL? Yeah, yeah. It's like, is this the way in? And, you know. Yeah, and Razo. Um, Razo has a music career. I, I, I was looking at Twitter, yeah, I he, saw. I believe, he, um, I don't know if he released his first song yet, but yeah. he is definitely uh, invested into making music, and um, he said he has music lined up, and yeah. it's going to be coming out soon, so if you guys follow Raza, man, make sure to hit him up for that. Really cool guy from Inland Empire area of Southern California. He moved there recently. He used to be uh, in the OC area. Uh -huh. Actually, he used to live walking distance of here, Santa Ana, uh -huh. but uh, parents ended up moving out to the Inland Empire, so now he's over there. Oh, so we are in... Yeah, this is the winner's quarters. quarters. All right, sweet. And yeah, um, Razo, uh, Peach Main in Smash 4. Yep. I remember that one time he almost took the set from Salem. I forget what Saga <laughs> it was, but it was so close. But he, he really, really good Peach player. Pretty much um, after Slayers quit playing Smash 4, yeah. he came out, started getting on the PR, and right. was pretty much like SoCal's best Peach. Now it's a pretty big toss-up because Slayers came back to Ultimate. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know because... Razo has been netting a lot of good wins. Right. I, I actually, I think if they were to like release the PR right now, I actually think Razo would be higher. Um, he has uh, wins on Larry Larry. His Heart of Battle run was really, really yeah, really definitely really a top eight showing at the you know pretty much the major tournament for SoCal. So yeah. So all right, so we got the DK and the Daisy, like we predicted. Yep. Here we go. And oh man, oh, uh, I was about to say good. I'm not a I'm not a Daisy man. That looks a little deep, and uh, <laughs> my hunch ended up being right. I got a little scared in it. You no know. man, I mean if you're a DK, you, you got to take that. DKs take that straight to the right. bank. And of course, YMC rocking the Yeti color, man. I love it. Did he, did he just spot dodge <laughs> until like twice in a row? He went for it, you know. And that's like I don't I don't know why you would go for that with uh with Daisy throwing out so many hitboxes and in those situations. It seemed like. One foot cancel Nair just oh, would have yeah. covered it, <laughs> but you know it's a it's a good combo starter, so the risk reward on it. You know. And here we are, four fares later. <laughs> YMCA backed up into the corner, 166 percent, and even after that SD, he's just having so much trouble getting back on the stage and just getting this damage on the Razo, finally opening up, but getting swatted right back out. Yeah, it looked like Raz was like, I'll spot you a stock and uh, let me let me make this back up. Takes the stock and he's one really good, you know, Daisy combo away from being virtually tied. Oh, Here we go. Oh, dang. He, he hit the down tilt, which is yeah. like the best combo starter you can get, but he does not hit the nair after. Oh, there's a side beat. Oh, there's wow. the shield. That was close. Oh, light, nice call out from Razo. Oh, and these up airs are just going to keep coming. Gets the air dodge, but YMCA going to nail that up beat. Oh, I wonder if he wanted to drum, like drop down and get the giant punch. That might have actually connected. Yeah, it would have uh, would have killed too at that point. Oh yes, for but sure. Not, but not, you know, it's unfortunate sometimes. Oh. Our genius, our genius level of reads are the ones that don't make it. Yo. But he gets that one on a uh, grounded up B for the kill. Yeah, grounded up B, a uh, kill move now. Really good stuff from YMCA. Let's see if he can tack on a little bit more damage. 
um, from this stock lead that he has uh, rather than the last stock. Man, trying to go above Razo and land on top, on top of him. Not really working out too much. Oh, the reverse slaps. Oh, there's a stitch face. He avoided that, but still got the crown to the face. YMCA trying to force himself high. Going to go onto the ledge here. Man, now he's on the ledge. The, oh, man, in the back air. Going to close it out there for Razo. Pretty much even stocks. He still has a slight lead, but he's one or two hits away. There you go. And now it's for the first time in the set, Raza with the lead. Yeah, and right now, I just feel like YMCA is just aggressively trying to land on top of Raza, and Raza's taking so much advantage of that, especially when he hits him off stage. Big for a down special, but not, not probably not the option you want for want to go for when your, your opponent floats uh, nonstop in the neutral. Yeah, YMCA has the rage. One more solid hit, and a re could do it here, but I don't know if Razo's going to give him that opportunity. No double jump. Wow, Ooh, good bear. back air. Yeah, barely saving him from that. Going for the wild up in. There's that double jump again. Again, YMCA trying to go high. Mm -hmm. Try to go up, up and above. He did not want to go to ledge. And I can't blame him. You know, being on the ledge against Daisy with the turn of setups can be very uh, troublesome to deal with. But when you do it so much to the point where, you know, Razo is just catching on really hard. And we even saw, like, Razo was catching the landing after the double jump. Yeah. Right there, he just straight up called out the double jump. He's like, right. yeah, you're just going to jump here. Slapped him with the crown. Really good comeback from, from Razo. And it might be something that's difficult for DK as a character to really contend with because, you know, we saw in that one really tense situation, YMC landed with the landing back air and got himself back. But when you grab the ledge and are facing forward against Peach, that back air faces the wrong direction and you're in trouble trying to get back. Yeah, landing with back air when you have some horizontal distance is not too bad. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty good. But when you're, when you, like you said, when you're facing forward, you really only got Nair and Fair. Yeah. And those, the, the Fair is almost like the wild. Oh, my oh, lord. 16% wow. on Razo. And just like that, the first stock is taken. And it's just oh, disadvantage no. in general, man. With these heavies, it's so... Oh, dang. We went oh, all the way to town. Oh, my God. <laughs> He, he's at 90. He's at 90, and the ledge trap, he could be dead here. Wow, good DI. Oh, there's, there's a kill there, and Raza said, you can have my first stock game one, and I'm not giving you any more after that. It's over. Um, just so much pressure, so much damage. Big yikes. Y, YMC had so much momentum, you know, outside of this, this specific match. Coming into it, people are looking, you know, hopeful for an upset, and Raza said no. It's and he's still going. He's still nearing. <laughs> Some say to this day he's still nearing <laughs> Donkey Kong across the screen. To this day. But yeah, I mean, like we were talking about in the beginning. Oh, beautiful tech on that Donkey Kong. Now, you can't tech um, spikes when you're on the ground. Oh, but you're dead. Hey, you got a stock. Hey, he sent the message, though. So, yeah, traded the stocks. No three stock tonight, but Raza with a very commanding win. Yeah, and you, you know he didn't want to, like, S.